Hello everybody, welcome back by a new street life vlog and it's been a long time since I made one but um, uh, to be honest the past few months haven't been that interesting and I haven't been in a collection very much but yeah um, it's only one month until it's Christmas so uh, I decided to already uh, put colored LEDs in the uh, LED string we have outside and that are going to be these bulbs I think but I first I'm going to test the test the bulbs to make sure they work first one is this blue Philips LED so I'm going to screw them in and turn it on and works this is the exact same but then red this one also works green nice color then a cheap purple version uh, then these are also LED but they look like incandescents I have two of those and the rest is incandescent And the other one also works. GE incandescent. Osram incandescent blue. It doesn't give much light, but it doesn't have to. Also, this is a, a Pila 25 watt incandescent. Osram one, which is my favorite. I bought it in Berlin, and then we have to no, test these two. I think a week ago, so I know they work. And then we have the Osram here. I don't know which color this one is yellow I'll turn one of these on as well I made a video about them they are really nice also one of my favorites here pretty nice color and um, it's time to um, yeah I wanted to put them uh, in the sockets outside but it rains so I'm not going to do that today probably tomorrow but I'm going to clean the shed a bit and then I'll show it when it's done It's a day later and the weather is a bit better, still bad, but yeah. Um, and it's time to put the bulbs in the sockets and do some other things in the garden because um, it's not the situation right now with the ornament. Um, doesn't really work well in the wind, it goes to the wrong sides the old time and stuff like that. So you need to put some better tie wraps there and Something else is that this street light doesn't work and I want to uh, take a look at that also.
so all the bulbs are in we have the LED ones over here and then this is almost all incandescent uh, except for the red one red ones they are both not um, incandescent but the rest is now we have the old bulbs over here there are all two watt uh, LEDs one white this one broke <laughs> Well, it still works, so doesn't really matter too much. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, working on this pole over here, which doesn't work, and I don't know why. I have replaced the bulb in here, so I don't think that should be the case, or the reason why it doesn't work. So maybe this is easy to find. Why it doesn't work and maybe it's hard to find. I hope it's easy, but I don't think it will be. So, first take a look at the cables over here, which are all well. Looks like maybe something in the ballast. But also that looks pretty normal. So it ain't the case over here. So maybe it's a problem over here. Let's put it. All right. Um, this looks all well. This looks well. So I don't know what the problem is. Maybe it's the bulb that doesn't work. Ultram bulb in, and if that doesn't work, um, I'm scared that it's the ballast. But I hope it ain't the, the ballast because I don't really have a lot of mercury vapor ballasts, and yeah, they are almost impossible to get. But let's test this first. So and this does not look like it works, so it might be the ballast. So to make sure it all works, I'm also going to replace the cables we have in here. Because new cables are safer. So and the, there's a chance that the cable is what doesn't work. I might cut the tie wrap over here. The new cables are in and it's time to replace the bolt. This has to be, I didn't, don't know if I said it before, but I only have high pressure sodium 50 watt ballast the moment so we'll put that in first and then um, I'll put mercury vapor in it later but then we'll also see how this fixture looks with how high pressure sodium and then it's time to replace the ballast of this fixture sadly <laughs> It's a pretty dangerous ballast. The cables come out of these things very easily as well. Alright, it's grounded. Uh, grounded, screwed. Now I have to ground it. But let's first connect this one here. This is a, a traffic light cable, so the colors are a bit different, but still works just fine. But I uh, try to stay true to the original or normal colors of cables, so I decided to make the green one the ground and the blue one 
This is the blue one and the red one, the brown or black one. And I think that just looks like in the normal situation. Right, let's put the cables in here. And let's hope it works. But looking at the drawing, it should. And there we have it, the high pressure sodium bulb. Maybe this looks even cooler than mercury vapor, but I don't think so. So we are on to the last project over here and it's a really simple one. Basically going to put a tie wrap, a big one, and wrap it up really tight so the ornament can't really go anywhere. I'm able to do that with this technique, so now it can't go anywhere. That was it, and thanks for watching.